Good morning students. Hope you are fit and fine and doing your work regularly. Today I am going to explain you a poem that is lesson 8 of your sunflower book. The Kings and Other Things which is written by Hugh Chesterman. Hugh Chesterman was a published author and he wrote many children's books in the 1920s and 30s. Before starting the poem, I want to tell you that in this poem, the poet wants to discover something from the things that happen every day, just like the mighty kings and scientists. Let's read out and find out what happened then. Bruce with grey eyes growing wider watched a persevering spider, then rose and swiped the English army on the nose. This is a story of a king named Bruce. In his kingdom, English people acquired his land and Bruce left from there to save his life and hide himself in a cave where he watched a spider who tried hard to make its web. After watching such a great willpower spider, he went back to his kingdom and defeated English people. The second stanza says, Newton sitting on a wall watched an autumn apple fall, so found that gravity brought apples to the ground. So here, the poet describes about Newton who was a great scientist. And he watched an apple falling down the tree and then he introduced the concept of gravity. The third stanza says, Stevenson observed a kettle boiling near the chimney settle and hurled his smoking rocket on a wandering world. Here, rocket refers to the train because Stevenson discovered steam engine only by observing a kettle how it boils the water. Now at last, I have looked at spiders toiling, apples falling, kettles boiling. My hat, if only I could think of things like that. The poet concluded that he has seen spider toiling, apples falling from the tree and kettles boiling water. Yet, no idea ever seems to strike his mind so that he too could think of things like the great inventors. So, in this poem, the poet describes about Bruce, the famous king, Newton, the great scientist, and Stevenson, who discovered the steam engine. And at last, he concluded that he was not able to think of things like the great inventors. Hope you all enjoyed this poem. Now watch and listen the video twice and then do the necessary work in your fair notebooks. Thank you and have a nice day.